What's up, YouTube? Welcome to a special episode of Freak Eating Cooks. Now, for those of you who don't know, baking is one of those things I used to really love doing growing up. Learned a lot of recipes with my mom. And I did a lot of experimentation on my own. I recently, I decided to try to come back to the kitchen and make some banana bread. Now, in the future, my actual like cooking or baking videos are going to have like prep in them. Uh, but this time, I'm just showing you the finished product. Uh, unfortunately, um, I had a little bit of a struggle getting it out of the pan, and I ended up having to kind of peel it out. And since this was an experiment, um, I'm actually going to make myself the guinea pig and eating it. Wouldn't want to uh, disgust anybody with my nasty cooking. But I am going to slice off a piece. Nice little cross section there. It's very moist, I like it. I innovated the recipe a little bit because I did not use um, milk. Didn't use milk and I went low on sugar. But despite that, it is an incredibly moist cake. I also innovated further by adding in a little bit of uh, granola, oats and raisins, and it's actually, it actually gives the inside of the cake a little bit of body. For those wondering, um, cook time was about an hour at 350 degrees. But then it came through very well done. Since I'm gonna be uh, tackling this on my lonesome, figure I may as well get some milk. And of course, the recipe is on screen and in the description section for those of you who want to take a shot at it yourself. Well, you may be wondering, why didn't I share this with Vaughn? Well, turns out that she's trying to be a vegetarian or maybe a pescatarian. You know, somebody who only eats like fish as protein. Um, so, when she found that I put eggs in here, she wasn't too thrilled, so it's mine. I was almost rudely interrupted there. I was going to take it to my coworkers at school, but I had never tried this recipe before and I didn't want to like embarrass myself, you know? Like, how embarrassing is that? You cook something, think it's great, and then they're like, ooh, it's crap, or they have to pretend they like it? No, I didn't want to do that. I mean, I guess it's pretty hard to embarrass myself, but I didn't want to do that. But this actually would have been winning. That's all they wrote. I mean, I guess it may be in bad form to grade your own cooking, but I think I give myself an A here. The interplay between the um, banana and the raisin was actually perfect. I mean, the raisin and the granola was actually a last minute addition, but looking back, I'm, uh, I'm glad I did that. And relying on the banana for sweetness, because I used three very ripe bananas, as opposed to sugar, I think paid off. It's, it's sweet enough. I mean, I don't look at banana bread as a ridiculously sweet cake anyway, so I, mean, I think it works as a banana bread. I mean, don't take my word for it. If you're interested, try out the recipe. Let me know what you think. 
leave me a comment. Uh, you can get in contact with me regarding the recipe also, you know, on Twitter. I have my Facebook fan page and, you know, Google Plus. Just, if you want to drop me a line, you know, I'm up here. You can find me. If you enjoyed the video, please hit that thumbs up button. And until we eat again, stay in school. Don't do drugs and eat like a freak. Hope you guys like cranberry sauce, cause I'm about to eat six cans of it.